Hi everyone, meteorologist Caitlin Fish here with today's WeatherWise lesson. We'll be taking a look at supercell thunderstorms. What is a supercell? Supercells are very large, powerful thunderstorms that are capable of producing tornadoes. They don't always, but they can. A cumulonimbus cloud like this one is associated with supercells, but there are many different parts of this storm. First, the updraft. The updraft is an area of fast rising air that forms the cloud and can reach speeds over 100 miles per hour. Pilots avoid them as they're very dangerous to fly through. Next to the updraft is the downdraft. The downdraft is rain cold air that can fall rapidly to the ground and cause damaging winds as well as torrential rain. Pilots also avoid these. Up here we have the overshooting top. It forms when the updraft breaks into a stable region of air known as the tropopause. It's the highest point in the supercell. Below the overshooting top is the anvil. Anvils are large flat clouds that can extend for hundreds of miles downstream. Anvils show us roughly where the top of the troposphere is. One of the coolest features of a supercell is the presence of mammatus clouds. These clouds are bubbly. They're heavy water filled clouds and they can have very turbulent air inside. Finally, the flanking line. This is a line of cumulus clouds that develop next to a supercell and if conditions are right, can produce their own rain. There's a lot more to supercells than what I've mentioned. So if you'd like to learn more, visit our storm team weather blog at whes11.com slash storm team dash blog. That's your weatherwise lesson for today for whas11. I'm meteorologist Caitlin Fish.